John Fetterman's wife. Man, you got good taste in women, man. Your politics suck, though, but at least you know what a good-looking woman looks like. That's a yeah. damn good-looking woman. A damn yeah. good-looking woman That's you got there. Damn good-looking woman you got there, John. Got some. Div- she's uh, she's not white, is she? She looks like she got some diversity in her. <laughs> Before we get started with today's video, we have a message from our sponsor. Yeah. Is it only us, or does the future feel more insecure and uncertain? At every turn, we're getting less for more, while record high inflation. Soaring interest rates and the looming recession are threatening businesses, jobs, and retirement funds. Even Fairchild Power warns us to brace for more pain. Fortunately, there is a way to secure your hard-earned nest egg. You can do what we did. Call the only precious metals dealer we trust, American Hartford Gold. They make it simple and easy to protect your savings and retirement accounts with physical gold and silver. They do? They do. With one short phone call, they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or inside your IRA or 401k. They make it easy. American Heart for Gold is the highest rated firm in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau and thousands, thousands of satisfied clients. And as an exclusive offer for our fans, if you call them right now, they'll give you up to $1,500 of free silver and even a free safe on qualifying orders. Free safe. That's that's good. So don't wait. Call them now. Call 866-222-4484. That's 866-222-4484 or text TWINS to 65532. Again, that's 866-222-4484 or text TWINS to 65532. Yeah. Oh, no, she might be white. I don't think she's white. Pull it back up. Let me see her. She might be a male order bride, man. You never know. Man, come on. Give him some kind of credit. You can get that all day long. $1,900, Venezuela. <laughs> you crazy. All Sam. day long. $1,900. $1,900, huh? For a couple of hours, anyway. <laughs> Shut up. Well, um, the first day John went to... Uh... That'd be money well spent if I was single. <laughs> but I'm a happily married man. I'm a Christian. Got all that behind me now. So John Fetterman, he went to orientation <laughs> for Congress, right? They got orientation. They over got there. orientation for Congress. Yeah, and he he took his wife. I and, didn't even uh, know he's married, man. He married, man. But I mean, I kind of figured he's married, but you know, when I look at him, I mean, shut up. I didn't figure his wife was gonna be that, uh, you know, attractive, you know. But women love. Um, they love what? Would you stop cutting me off? I tell you, man, you about to say Women something. Women love more. status. Oh yeah, he was mayor before. Maybe that's status. He was a mayor. He was a mayor up there. You didn't know that? I didn't know he was a he mayor. He was a mayor up in uh, Bradford, uh, Pennsylvania. Transylvania. <laughs> he looked like he was the mayor of Transylvania. That's what he looked like. But anyway, the, what we're going to talk about today is what she said. What's her name, man? Uh, Put some respect on her name, Giselle. Giselle. Phil. I like that name, Giselle. You look like a Giselle. When I think of Giselle, that sounds like a dirty little girl. <laughs> hey, man, I need you to leave the apartment for a couple hours. Giselle's coming. Out. <laughs> hey, man, let me read what she said. So she went with her husband to our orientation, and she said this. She compliments him very well. Yeah. Yeah. She compliments him. Opposites, right? opposites are crack. That's bullshit. You know He's that, actually that lost don't them. exist in real life. You know yeah, that, right? Pull the picture up. He actually lost a lot of weight. Yeah, you got having any, a stroke. You got he, any before and after pictures. Yeah, I'll show you one right here. This is him before. Oh yeah, he's has lost a lot of weight. He's lost a lot of weight. Yeah, ain't nothing like death scaring you into a damn weight loss program. But um, yeah. let me just tell you what his wife said. Senator Elect John Fetterman's wife Giselle said the right wing hates women after she was criticized for showing up to orientation alongside him on Capitol Hill. Why do they keep saying we hate women? I don't know. She ain't finished. Look, the right wing hates women. No, we don't. They especially hate strong women. We like women, especially when they're like you. And <laughs> like, like, I, um, Carol Lake, she's an awesome woman. Yeah. She's the, uh, boiler plate for all women in my humble yeah. opinion. And look, she said, and I think that, okay, the right wing hates women. They especially hate strong women. And I think strong women. Hey, uh, can I read what she said? Man, this is all lies, man. The right wing hates women. They especially hate strong women, and I think that's what you're seeing, Fetterman told the New Republic. Strong women. 
<clears throat> I love a good, what, what is a strong I love, woman? I love a good, strong woman. Man. I mean, but what does that even mean, a strong I like strong to get manhandled woman. in the bed, you know. I like a woman that takes charge, you know. Instead of me hey, having to do all the foreplay, they do it, you know. Hey, man, let's get serious on this. I am serious. I like a strong woman. What is she talking about? Giselle, where you getting these... Facts from. No, it's just these, it's just that damn jargon that comes from Democrats. What is a strong woman? <laughs> what the fuck a, is that? A strong woman. Well, what I, she look I mean, what do y'all mean say, by that? I can't, I can't say it on camera. Hey, Kim, come on, get serious on this. I'm serious. Okay. You know what, why she's saying that, right? Won't you fill me in? Come on now, you gotta be smart in this. She's saying this because she wants women to vote Democrat. Come on now. I seen this a mile away. She's right, sticking yeah. to the nerve. She's sticking you know to the nerve. damn good and well, most conservatives, when they see you, the first thing that's going to pop in her head is... Hey. Hey. Man. She playing games, man. Yeah, I mean... I don't know not one conservative that will turn that down. Not one. <laughs> can, we, can we get serious on this? All right, we get she it. She lying. And Giselle, you know you're lying. You know it. Look, I, I don't know why you say Democrats. You lie. So you you making you you're um you're suggesting that you know Democrats love strong women. How is that even possible when y'all can't even define what the hell a woman is? Oh man, you got a good on that one. I got a good you on got that. Got Giselle, one. good on that one. I man. got you good on See, that, that's Giselle. That's what I'm talking about. That's man. what I'm talking about. You gotta about. come at these fools with this Socrates, man. Yeah, man, I'm tired of this. That's what I'm talking about, man. She ain't got no answer for that, man. What else she say? She said something else crazy as hell. She said um. What does she say, man? Um, I guess some right wing um website was talking down to her. Well, you can't which, you can't generalize one article and say all conservatives think that way. Yeah, um, I'm sure they was talking down to her though. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Giselle Fenneman called it not normal that her inbox has been completely filled with threats and horrible things. Look come at, on, hey, threats. Come on now, come on now. Come, come on, on, threats. Come on. come on. Hey, that's what you signed up for. I get Things sent to me, horrible things, sent email, DMs. That goes along with the territory, but, honey. You gotta but, suck it up. I thought you was a strong woman. Hey, hey, you got her. I, I got her right there, <laughs> You man. got her right there. See, I got her, man. I got her too, man. You got her? I got her. You out here complaining like a little, like old weak woman. Yeah, like a little bitch. <laughs> hey, but seriously, are you You can getting... definitely do better than John, though. <laughs> No, John's a good Way guy. Buddy, you could get no, it. John's got a no. heart. That dude's got a heart. That dude had a stroke and still didn't give up. He got up there, couldn't even say what he wanted to say, and still got up there. It takes a lot of man, heart. you could have got a way better man than John. You could have got somebody like Trump, man. Trump is the shit. You could have got somebody like uh, Big Dick Ron DeSantis. <laughs> Come on, now. Hey, you could do way better than this, man. John Fetterman? Man, John John might be taking care of business and then... Man, John ain't taking care of business. <laughs> John's six eight. Yeah, he is six eight. Yeah. That's a big dude. Y'all see? Put his picture up. Where that damn picture? Look at them feet on that dude. Man, that dude got at least twelve inches. To his <laughs> that head. dude got about fifteen inches. <laughs> Man, look how big that dude's feet is. Where you buy your shoes at? He got to order them online. He bought his shoes at the circus. <laughs> Hey, but seriously, Giselle. Them big ass shoes, man. Them had to be an 18. Hey, 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 Giselle, seriously, you getting. I can see that dude walking to a damn. Hey, man, you got any size 18s? Man, you got to be kidding, man. 18s? I got no damn 18s. I got some 12s. Got some 12 and a half. I might have a 13. You hey, but, crazy as hell but, but seriously, do you think Giselle's. Is she getting like death threats and bad things? You ain't getting her? no death threats. You ain't getting. You ain't getting. You're probably bad. getting some dick pics. That's what you get. Ain't nobody gonna send you no death threats. Well, she didn't say they sending her horrible things. Yeah. She probably talking about dick pics. Look, her inbox is completely filled with threats and horrible things. No, man, I need to see proof. Those are just allegations. Yeah. I want to see some evidence. I need to see. See, you some know what she's doing? I know what she's doing. I, I want to she... see some corroboration. You know what she's doing? What? She's victimizing herself. You got her again, man. You That's victimizing doing, yourself. Man. That's what you're doing. She's sticking to the nap so women will vote. Democrat. Yeah. She, when she say uh, conservatives don't, uh, Republicans don't like strong women, and now that is couching a lie. 
You ain't strong. You over here victimizing yourself. You ain't strong. Got to practice what you preach, honey. Yeah. Woo! Damn good show. Damn good show. For more damn good shows, hey, Giselle, I know you watch. Click one of these two videos right here. <laughs> we got some comedy shows coming to Giselle. <laughs> you. you stop by and check us out. Yeah. We're going to Houston. Sure would like to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> going to Houston, going to Manchester, Connecticut, yeah. Temp, Arizona. That's all liberal areas, is it? <laughs> we going to be around your kind. <laughs> Go to hawkswinstore.com for tickets. Everybody in the comments on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being hideous, 10 being perfect. What do y'all rate Giselle Fetterman? Be well, honest now. Be honest. Well, anything looks good standing beside John. <laughs> that, that was messed up. Yeah, that was wrong. I shouldn't. Yeah, you should that. take that back. I take that back, John. You ain't that bad, man. Yeah, he ain't that bad. It's not that I'm in the dues, but uh, yeah, he just. I'm, I'm just being mean. I'm being a Republican over here. Yeah, I'm still pissed over the whole Oz thing, even though he came off like a damn used car salesman. Yeah.